welcome back in the previous video we understood what is an api and how does it work right in this video let's understand what is a rest api well rest stands for a representational state transfer it organizes how web applications talk to each other separating what the user sees on the front end from what runs behind the scenes on the back end REST APIs are based on a set of core principles uh, that guide how APIs are designed and implemented. The first core principle of REST API, it is stateless. Okay. Statelessness means the server doesn't store any information about the client between request. It forgets each request after it's done. Remember in the previous video, we saw the restaurant example, right? So statelessness is like a waiter not remembering your entire order after serving you the food. So that's how it is. And REST is client server architecture. The app or the client asks for the things and the server does what, what is requested. Okay. So for example, if the client asks for the data, the server will give him the data using the API endpoints. So it works between the client and the server then the standardized interface rest apis rely on a set of standard methods get post put and delete for interacting with the resources okay so get is for retrieving the resource post is for creating the resource and put is for updating the resource and then delete is for deleting the resource so what is resource it is nothing but the data object and REST APIs are easy to read because REST APIs returns the response in a standardized, easy to read formats. Typically, it will be JSON or XML. All right. Let's understand the RESTful operations or methods in more detail. HTTP provides an easy way to identify resources using URIs and URLs. For example, if you are working on a student management system, and you want to retrieve all the students then what you do is you use a get method with the uri forward slash students and to create a new student we use post method with the uri forward slash students again the method will change this uri can be same so this will create the new user now to update the existing student we use put method with the ID or the primary key of the student, which is already exist. So that's why it is forward slash student forward slash one, two or three. Okay. So this will be the primary key. And uh, to delete the student, we use delete method with the URI forward slash student forward slash ID. Okay. ID or the primary key. So get method with forward slash students will retrieve all the students from the database and post will create a new student and put will update the existing student and then delete will delete the student. Okay, so that's how the HTTP methods and URI work together to perform CRUD operations. All right, this was an overview of how REST APIs work. In this course, we are going to create a lot of REST APIs and see them in action. Okay, so not only we will create the REST APIs, we will also be implementing those REST APIs for our machine learning project as well. So I'm very excited to continue to the next section where we will start working practically on REST APIs and build the stock prediction project using machine learning and neural network.